Y'all, we are doing some more digging today on yes. what to do when you come to Germany as a tourist. Or what, what um, don't to do. What not what, to do. What not to do. What don't uh, to do. I can't even English today. I don't know. We barely English ourselves. But anyway, true. this is from under the channel, Walter's World. Uh, we're doing the don'ts of visiting Germany and mistakes tourists make in Germany. So Come on. I am here for this. See, like, this is the kind of stuff I, I need to know. Like, this will keep us out of hot water, hopefully. Yeah, keep us out of trouble. Anyway, you ready? Let's do it, man. Three, two, one. Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in Munich and today what we have for you are the don'ts of traveling Germany because there's so many things you should do like visit Munich here or going to Berlin or the Hartz Mountains. There's so many great things to do here but there's a few cultural don'ts you should know so when you come here you can have a better time. And the first don't I have for you is don't assume Germans are these cold, unfriendly, uncaring people that we've kind of been taught by stereotypes throughout the years. Germans are actually really wonderful people. They're helpful, they're kind, they're honest, extremely honest. And the thing is, to see that, you need to ask them for your help. Ask them for some guidance and they'll be glad to help you. And that's the thing is, some people think, oh, German service isn't very nice. Well, the thing is, German service is very professional. And if you ask them for help, I guarantee they will know the entire background of every meal you have and everything in the shoe store and all kinds of stuff, they'll be able to help you. But don't think that they're these cold hearted people because Germans really are super nice. And if you make a German friend, I guarantee they will be with you until the end. They make the best friends ever. So that's the first thing is don't think they're bad people. Yeah, uh, okay. that was something from Feli that uh, we noticed uh, she talked about is like they're not cold hearted people and they're very professional. Like you don't get as much freebies in a restaurant. Like, and if you want them to come over, you have to flag them down. Yeah. Which I mean, okay. I feel like there's a time and place for that. And Germany is that place to, to be like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there you go. I don't need this bubbly fake facade. Right. I just yeah. be straight to the point. I, I admire that. I like that. I respect. Yeah. That. Same with Aldi. Like we, yeah. we checked with the fat files, fat yeah. electrician. Now my second don't for you is don't cross against the light. You know, don't <laughs> jaywalk. Germans really, 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 really like their rules and they really, 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 really don't like people breaking them. And that will mean tourists as well. And one of the biggest things is crossing when the light is red. They don't like that. I lived multiple years in Germany, three years in Germany, and there's been quite a few times where a grandma, an Oma, stops me and says, hey, by rot musst du stehen. By grün lass du gehen, which means by red you stay, by green you're allowed to go. And that's one of the things is the Germans do like those rules, but the biggest one that a tourist doesn't want to do is don't jaywalk. Also, you can get a fine for that, so you know, heads up on that one. Now, our third tip for you. Yeah, yeah. Don't jaywalk, follow the rules. <laughs> I I follow always think back to faulty towers. Yeah. All devs must be obeyed at all times. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's a great dude. Faulty towers, God tier. Yep. 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 You has to do with the fund, the deposit. Don't just throw away your bottles, like your big bottles or cans, and don't just leave your your Christmas market mugs and stuff like that out because you have to put a deposit on a lot of these things. For example, if you're at the Christmas markets and you get those cute mugs that everyone loves to get, look, usually you're gonna be paying between three and five euros for the deposit on those mugs. And if you walk off with it, great, you have a cool souvenir. But the thing is, do you really want eight of the exact same mug? For example, we were here in Munich and we got Glühwein and, and kid, Kinder Punch, the children version of it, and there was eight of us. So that was five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 euros of a deposit. I'm like, whoa! Now, I got to use that 100 euro shine, that 100 euro note that I've never you know, got to use before, just on the deposit. And make sure you're turning those things in. Don't just throw it away because it actually does add up after a while. So save those. Now, my fourth tip for you. Wow. So you better re it, like, do you reuse your cup all the time? Like, you you feel like you know, in? if you're at a beer garden or some bar where you're being served drinks, like, do you have to? continue you know, just be sure you have the same mug every that's, single time that's interesting okay okay that's okay so you have to return it to the establishment or yeah, I, I feel like i'm, I'm getting sure. something like we've we've checked out a lot of things so far on this channel where is it that you have to turn 
the your I guess not necessarily trash or your recyclables in to get money back. Is that Germany yeah. or is that somewhere else? See, that's the thing where I'm getting confused. Yeah, yeah. Is uh, it like at the establishment or do you have to go to another place to return it? Um I, I, I lost I lost him on this. Yeah, somebody please clear that up for us. For you is if you're invited to go to a German's house, because you know what, if they like you, they probably will invite you. They are really nice like that. But if you're gonna go to their house, don't forget to bring either flowers or wine or candy, okay? That's kind of a typical thing you bring over there. Also, don't wear your shoes inside. When you come in, take your shoes off. Sometimes they even have house slippers for you when you get there for their guests, but it's kind of rude to have your shoes on inside the house, so just know that. So make sure you do bring something to their house if you get to be you know if you get really like really invited to their house it is really cool now the fifth okay so be a good house guest take your shoes off bring something flowers candy wine this is just a nice thing to do yes yeah yeah what i have for you actually is specifically for tourists that i've been seeing a lot lately when i've been traveling through germany especially berlin people have been using the jewish memorial in berlin you know with the, the stone blocks and stuff kind of like a parkour course or this is the place to make the coolest selfies in berlin and people are climbing up them jumping across them doing silly pictures mm, duck face it's a jewish it's a memorial to dead Jewish people. What the hell? What is wrong with you? I mean, this is not something you do. You don't do that. Also, the concentration camps, we're seeing more and more people doing their, their duck face selfies. Look, this is where they burned everybody. I'm like, are you kidding me? So please have respect for people when you when you go to these the concentration camps and the morals and things like that, because the Germans show respect, you know, for the horrible things that happen. And we as tourists need to do a better job as well. So don't don't be a tool when you're visiting some of these concentration camps, okay? Or these memorials, all right? Now, Ugh, that's that just like, come on, stick. people. Show I, some damn respect. Come on. I feel like, man, I would be happy if if they got fined. I mm -hmm. would be happy if they got fined. They put a fine on those people. Oh, man, I'd be fine. I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Show some freaking respect. Mm -hmm. uh, come Dude. on. Maybe... I don't know. This is an older video, but hopefully, like, they have rules in place now against that. Like, no photography. Um, you know, oh, God. That, that's ridiculous. That just means if you're disrespecting memorials and monuments like that, then that means you don't know about it. Right. You yeah, know, you, and you... that's that's terrible right there. Right, right. And we we took the time to try and get a perspective on World War II, and we'll link that video at the end of this one. Yeah. So, ugh, makes me sick. My sixth don't for you is don't wait. Look, whether it's a line or you're ordering food, you don't wait in Germany. Germans are go, go, go. We are very efficient. We want to get things done. So you're going to be on time for things, all right? Very punctual is important. But for a tourist, when you go to restaurants, what you need to do is when they give you the menu, look in it right away so you can order right away. Because it's not like in the U.S. where they come back every two minutes to see us need anything now, need anything now. They come when they come. So if you get that chance, make sure you do place your order, get your drinks and your food in and things like that. And when you want to get your bill, you ask for the bill. They'll come right away with their big wallet, okay? And you pay them right there. And when you pay them, you'll say, let's say it's a you know 27 euro bill, you will say 30. You just say the total amount you want to pay and they'll put that down for you, okay? So then they give you the change back from that, okay? But don't wait. Like once they see you, they give your menu, it's time to order, okay? When they come and ask. Because if you wait, you might be waiting a long time. Now my seventh don't for you is don't experiment on the Autobahn. Okay, I know the Autobahn sounds really cool. Yes, driving without speed limits. Look, I've driven on the Autobahn before. <laughs> There's a reason why I go in public transport. It can be really scary, because we were going about 100 miles an hour, you know, like 140K. We're going, and we're in the right lane, because there's BMWs and Mercedes going, and you just see them go by like, wow. And it's kind of dangerous when you're out there, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So please, if you're not comfortable with these fast speeds, make sure you don't experiment on the Autobahn. Stick with the public transport. It will take you everywhere here, which is so awesome about Germany. Now, my eighth. Wow. Again, we checked that out with the Autobahn video, yeah. a couple of them. And yeah, you don't mess around on the Autobahn. It's, it's, there are rules spoken and unspoken more more so written that people learn um yeah that we're not privy to they, their mm -hmm. driving test is not like ours 
Yeah. Like, and I feel like what they say, it's like 2,500 euros to like get a driving license there. So it's a lot more expensive over there. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. don't want to mess it up with our $5, $25 driver's license. Hell we, no. We can tackle it. Hell no. You got to know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. It don't for you is don't expect to shop on Sundays. Look, most of Germany is closed on Sundays, except for museums and restaurants. So if you want to do your, your shopping kind of stuff, if you're here for a long weekend, do it on Friday or Saturday, because on Sunday, a lot of the stuff is closed. Now, the things that usually tend to be open on Sundays, things that are attached to the train station. So if there's a mall attached to the train station, that'll probably open. Also in December, um, they'll, have, they'll have Sunday hours, a lot of places. But just know, basically on Sunday, everything's basically closed um, also on Mondays a lot of the museums are closed so if you're gonna do a long weekend including that Monday make sure you check and see and say hey let's do our tourism stuff on Saturday and Sunday and do our shopping on Monday my ninth don't for you is don't forget to have cash look Germans yes they have credit cards but they prefer cash yes have your euros ready there's ATMs all over the place you can use but you really want to have cash with you because they don't accept credit cards everywhere a lot of places they do and a lot of times you need to have a chip card you know for your credit cards and stuff like that for everything to work but just know that cash is king here in Germany so don't forget to keep some with you just so you have it and my 10th okay so that'll be interesting because we're doing two videos here uh, like would yeah. Like this, the next one's a little more recent with that, that have changed. Hmm. Cause I've, I feel like in one of the videos, uh, either of Walter or Feli is one of them said that a lot of like local bakeries and local, uh, things like that are cash only. So which, that's good to know. Which makes sense. And I feel like you see that here too. Like there's a lot more, it's a lot more cash heavy when you get to like the head shops, like the yeah. boutiques. It's usually cash only, you know, yeah. and that's just how they run. I, right. I don't know what. It, oh, well, I know why. It's because the merchant service charge. That yeah. A lot of these yeah. smaller businesses just don't want to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm done for you with coming to Germany is realize that you don't just see half tempered houses here. Germany is not just the stereotype of half tempered houses and beer halls. There's so much more to Germany, whether you're going to Berlin where they have, you know, the Potsdamer Platz and all this new stuff there, or you're here in Munich where the tech stuff is booming, or Hamburg, which is a rebuilt city. I mean, you have all these cool modern cities here in Germany, and it's not just half tempered houses. And the thing is, you can't see the half tempered houses, Quedlinburg and Venigo and Gosler and the Hartz Mountains. Oh, my heart just falls in love with that place. Here in uh, here in here in Bavaria, go to Regensburg and Bongberg, Oberammergau. You can get that old Germany, but also you have very modern Germany as well. So make sure you explore both sides. Don't just try to think it's going to be half-tempered houses, but experiment all the wonders of Germany. Anyway, I hope this helps you out to have a better time when you are here in Germany. If you other have other don'ts about German culture, please put in the comment section below so we can have more help for our awesome travelers. Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Freiburg, Germany. And today what we have for you are the mistakes that tourists make when they come here to Germany. And I know we've got the 10 culture shocks, and we have the don'ts of travel. Well, these are just the little tiny mistakes that tourists make that might take away from their great time here visiting Germany, okay? And the first mistake I see tourists make when they come here to Germany is they think Germans are cold. Look, Germans are not cold. They're hard to make friends with, that I will not deny. But the thing is, once you make a German friend, they're a friend for life, okay? They will be by your side till the end. And what's cool about it is I kind of think of the Germans more like an M&M. They've got this hard candy shell on the outside and it's hard to break through. But once you break through that shell, it's really easy to become really good friends with a German. So think of it this way. On the outside of that candy shell, it's called Bekannte or acquaintance. But once you break through, you can be a true Freund, a really good friend, and they will be with you until the end. So do not think they're cold. That's one of the biggest mistakes that tourists makes because Germans can be fantastic people. Take my word for it, okay? Now the second mistake... All right, yeah, that was in the first video there, but that's a yeah. good analogy. It's like an M&M &M candy. There you, you go. Know, hard on the outside, soft on the inside. There you go. Yeah. That's a. Hey, there you go. It makes yeah. more sense when you when you wrap it in a food analogy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Mistake tourists make when they come to Germany is they think when Germans are speaking German, they're actually yelling. 
Well, that's not just the case. It's just German. German is not necessarily the most romantic language you hear. Like, how would you like to hear this? Ich liebe dich, mein Schatz. I love you, my treasure. Yeah, it doesn't really sound so sexy that way, right? And the thing is, when Germans speak, it does sound very brusque. And some tourists are like, are they mad at each other? Are they yelling at each other? No, silly. They're just speaking German. Now, the next mistake I see. That is a common stereotype that Americans have about Germans is that they're always mad when they're talking. It's just been it's just the, the stereotype is that it's a very harsh language when in actuality they're just speaking normally. That's just how yeah. they are. I mean, but that you know what I would I would put I would put that right there too. It's the language doesn't flow out of them; it's forced out of them. Yeah, that's my that's my stereotype. And until I I, I converse. With the German, then I'll 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 make that, but I'm not gonna go in with that assumption, right? Of my course. my one of my exes took um German, and her teacher was German, and that's what her perception was when she was being taught German. I was yeah. like, dang, it's interesting. It's interesting. Yeah. Mm. It's a completely different language than a, a Latin-based language. Makes sense. So. Yeah see tourists make and you see this a lot here in a place like Freiburg we have a lot of biking and that is getting in the way of a German on a bike look if it's a bike path leave it alone okay that is for bike paths only but the thing is the Germans will go out on their bikes on the bike path or on the road or on the sidewalk and if you're in front of them either expect a little ding -a ding ding -a ding like a really rude like little bell ringing on their bikes or a good old Hello, you'll hear that. That's when you hear some yelling from them, okay? But just realize, Germans and bikes, you gotta be careful. Now, another thing is- Same with New York City. I've been there multiple times. Stay the f out of the way when it comes to the bike lane. Respect just, it, just yeah. like the road. Yep, just be aware. Be aware. Yeah. Just be fucking aware. No one hates a, a, an oblivious American more than me. Mm -hmm. They're just like, oh my god, what is this? And they're like walking into freaking traffic. It's like, just pay attention. Just pay mm -hmm. attention. Is, is you might not want to do bikes going around. You're probably going to use public transportation here in Germany. Because I'll be honest, the if you look at the public transportation here in Germany is fantastic. It goes all over the place. A lot of times you can just walk in with your ticket. You don't have to worry about too much. It's really great. But the mistake that tourists make are that they think that the Germans will let them get off the public transportation before they come in. Look, you've got to be ready for your stop and you got to be ready to get out when it's your turn to get out because they're not going to wait for you. you got to like shove your way through out of the S-Bahn or the U-Bahn or the bus or the tram. Just know that. And again, it's not about being rude. It's just the way it is because Germans and lines, they don't do a really good job with that, especially if going from a place like the UK or the US where it's very much we have our line and we stick in our line. Oh, no, no. Here it's like a gaggle of Germans just waiting to get in. OK, now the next. Was OK, so another similarity to New York is like every person for themselves yep. when it comes to the lines and things like that. Yep. I can match that. I can match that speed. Mm -hmm. I can, I can, I can, I can dig what, what he's putting down. Yep. All right. Bulldoze your way through yep. there. Go scorch get on the bus. You're right. Just get just take on or get off. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. No in between tourists make when they come to Germany is they think Germany is just beer and it's not you actually realize Germany makes some really fantastic white wines you know like the Rieslings if you get a chance to take a, a Rhine tour or go on a tour of the Mosul go to a city like Kochum or a town like Kochum to go see the wine production you will fall in love with the wines here in Germany so don't think it's just beer okay there's a lot more than that but a mistake I see tourists do make when they actually are having beer is they don't make eye contact when they cheers because in Germany when you go Prost or whatever you like to say you always must make eye contact otherwise you can have a few years of uh, bad experiences and another mistake I see tourists make when they're ordering beer here in Germany is they order a national brand like Bex or Wallsteiner what you have to realize is when you're traveling throughout Germany every city every town has its own brewery and you should be drinking the local beer from there for example if you're in Braunschweig you should be drinking Walters Pilsner if you're in Berlin you should have Berliner Kindle you have all these local breweries and so enjoy those when you are here in Germany because you probably won't be able to have them when you're outside Side of Germany, that's when you can have your Bex and Vosteiner. Have the local stuff when you're here, okay? Hell yeah. Like, that's that's just a no-brainer right yep. there to have the local brews. Yep. But but that's that, there was a couple other good points there. Like, one, 
Uh, there's good wine in Germany. I mean, two Americans, like Germany makes the good beer. France makes the good wine. So maybe there's good opposites of that. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, if you come to the U.S., you think California has the best wine, but Virginia has some awesome wine, too. Mm-hmm. That's right. I mean, That's there's right. some places in the country that, that rival the, the Napa Valley. So, yeah, 100%. Yeah, that makes and sense. All, and also, while cheersing, you have to look them in the face when you make do them, it. Yep, make them fear you. Yep. Yeah, unless bad things will happen to you, apparently. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Now, going back to a mistake I see people make on the trains, is what you have to realize when you take the, the ICE or the fast trains here, you don't have to get a seat reservation. You can just buy a ticket and go. And so sometimes the trains have way more people than there are seats. So the mistake I see people make is they don't buy a seat reservation. I mean, it's like a few euros to make your life so much easier pay the money to get the reservation. Otherwise, you might be standing the whole way or sitting by the exit door on the ground with a bunch of other people. No, make sure you get that reservation and don't be afraid when you see someone sitting in your seat to say, excuse me, uh, that's my seat. They'll be like, I don't believe you. Like, look, I've got my reservation because the people that work on the train, on the Deutsche Bahn, they will ask them to leave too. So you'll get your spot. So don't be cheap. Spend that like two or three euros to get that reservation to have that nice seat on the nice trains. That now the next sense. mistake I see tourists make when they come to Germany is they confuse the inattentive service of Germans to being unprofessional, which isn't true. Look, what you have to realize when you come to Germany, it's not the kiss your butt, you are a god kind of thing that you have in the US or the UK. Here, the people, the servers are there to help you make your order or buy your clothes and that's it. They're not gonna go any farther than that. But what's great about it is they are educated in what they're selling, about the foods they have and things like that. So if you have any questions like, hey, what would go good with this? They'll let you know. If you need another different size of clothing, they'll be glad to get it for you because they are very professional and well educating what they're doing but don't expect it to think it's like over the top friendliness they don't do that but don't think it's because they're trying to be mean to you or something that's just how service is here it's more kind of efficient effectiveness versus over friendliness now another i i've said this before in other videos yeah. i appreciate the yeah. straightforwardness i don't need your life story i don't need that to your customer service to make my whole day i yeah. just need an item and i need to go yeah and i understand that your job your job is to sell this brand whatever it is like you're not trying to become my best friend give me right. what i want and i will get out of your hair yeah that is yeah it. the over friendliness almost makes me not want to shop there yeah. Yeah. me personally no 100 yeah, percent. yeah mistake I see tourists make has to deal with their at their hotels and that is expecting more than cold cuts and sliced cheese with some bread or rolls in the morning. Look, sometimes you'll have a Spiegel aisle like scrambled eggs or, or some boiled eggs and stuff like that. But honestly, German breakfast really is cold cuts and slices of cheese on bread. And that's what we have here. I mean, that's how it is. And honestly, if you talk to any hoteliers in the US, the UK, they'll let you know that German tourists will ask them all the time, Where's your brotkin, the rolls, and, and where, where's the ham and, and the cheese? That's what I want, because that's what breakfast is here. And a lot of tourists come here and they're kind of disappointed because they're looking for their pancakes and waffles and stuff like that. And that's not how it works here, okay? But the thing is, those rolls, go and try some of them. They're fantastic with the seeds on them, the different flavors. Oh my gosh, they're so good. <laughs> so just fall in love with the bread and you'll be all good, okay? No, no. <laughs> that's part of why I love Walter so much. He's he, he's a he's a fat boy just like me so uh, he has a sense of the food yeah, around yeah. as well and uh no, i don't say it in a bad way you know dad bods are in so yeah. uh far or father figures as father you say. figures as i say <laughs> yeah it's not a dad bod it's a father figure um <laughs> I, I i'll put my two cents on in on this leave your your customs where you're where you're coming from at home you're yeah, you're not yeah. there you're not in the U.S. Don't expect the continental breakfast. Just right. embrace what's given to you and be thankful of that. Don't go to Germany looking for Fruit Loops and pancakes in the morning. That's not the place. Right. And was it cold cuts and 
cheese and bread. Yeah. That's they have Subway for breakfast. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool with that, especially yeah. considering it's more than likely more high quality. Yes. Than Subway. Yeah. So I'll, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'll yep. be all right with that. Yep. Just take whatever you're given. Yeah, basically. The mistake that I've made too many times in my years living here in Germany is never, ever, ever wish a German happy birthday before their birthday. Cause it's like the most bad luck. Like you want me to have a bad birthday? You want me to die before my birthday? Kind of like greeting you can give someone. So just make sure it's always better to be late when it comes to birthday wishes than early cause they will not appreciate it. And that kind of goes along with another mistake tourists make when they come here. And that is thinking that time isn't important. Look in Germany, being on time is vital. When a meeting starts at nine o'clock, it's not you show up at nine. It is you are already sitting at the meeting table with everyone with all your documents out your computer up ready to go five minutes before nine so at nine o'clock the meeting starts not the hellos but we actually start getting down to business so make sure if you're getting invited to a german's house you're going to be meeting people for dinner you are on time that part is very important the birthday thing yeah you you can you can wish them happy birthday after the birthday okay now going okay like that's another thing you got to be on time yeah. Uh, I, I think we both have ancestries that would suggest that we're late to things a lot. Yes. Uh, and although I suspect that I may have some German in me as well as Irish because uh, I do appreciate being on time. I've gotten used oh, yeah. to not being on time for things. I'm, I don't I don't mean to say this passive aggressively. I'm not. But I like being on time. Yeah. I like being early. 100%. You know, in the military, if you're not 10 minutes early, you're late. That's what I thought. Be, hurry up and be early. Yep. That's yeah. what it is. Just be early and then you can wait for it to start. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. Going back to the public transportation, I have another mistake people make is one, they do not validate their tickets when they're taking the S-Bahn or the U-Bahn or the tram. Look, when you buy a ticket for different things, whether in your Berlin or Munich or other places, you're going to get your ticket. And some of them will like they'll already say it's validated, but some of them you have to punch the ticket to validate it to get it going. Because though you can just walk on the trains and the U-Bahns and stuff like that and the subways and, and things, that doesn't mean that they don't have checkers occasionally. And so if you don't do that you might find someone with a badge going hey um where's your ticket if you don't have it you can get a fine okay so make sure you don't forget to validate your ticket also when you're buying your tickets for the bigger cities like berlin or munich make sure you know which zones you're going to be in because you might be going into different zones and you might have a ticket but it doesn't cover that zone and so you might get a fine for that now it doesn't happen a lot but i do want you to be careful with that now another thing with the tickets i would want to mention a mistake that people make is they just take the ices or the fast trains look if you're going to be just traveling around a region like in bavaria or around brandenburg or something like that get the landes ticket or the land ticket like a state ticket and what it does it lets you kind of travel on the slower trains as much as you want for one day but it's like up to five people like i talk about the buy-in ticket a lot because you can see a lot in bavaria on the local trains so why not pay 50 or 60 euros to get every like five people for a whole day going around and you can see stuff instead of spending 50 euros on one ticket for one person going one way on the ICE okay so don't make that mistake use those tickets especially if you got a group of people to do day trips it really helps out now when you're going around Germany you might know that is a great travel tip right there because I love me trains and yep. I love you know I would love to do one of those uh day trips yeah so. no that that to me makes more sense I yeah. like yeah more out of your more for your money that's yeah. that's I'm there for that if yeah. you don't have anywhere else to be, you know, if you don't have anywhere else to be and you're just sightseeing, yeah, that's the that's a great alternative. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Notice that sometimes your beer has one price, but they don't give you enough change back. Well, I have a little mistake that tourists make when they're here, and that is they don't return their beer glass or their Christmas mug or or their, their glass or something like that or their bottle from a drink or something like that. Because in German, they have this thing called Fund. It's a deposit. And I know in the U.S. we have deposits on some bottles in some states, but they're like five cents, 13 cents. Here in, Euro or here in Germany, you might have two or three euro deposit on that Christmas mug that you need to take back. So it can add up. So don't make the mistake of forgetting to take those things back because you can get some good money back for those. And my last don't. Okay, okay. So you got to bring your mug back. 
uh, to whoever served you. Doesn't that make more sense? I don't know what. What? So where? I don't. I, maybe I'm just missing the context. So let's say is this for like I'm at a restaurant, and I get one of those mugs, right? I have to then seek out my server to get my deposit back and hand them my mug. Is that kind of what happens? I, I don't that's, know. That's where I'm, I'm please in the comments, please help me out. Cause something about the situation is, is missing. I'm not getting it. And I'm not too proud to say that. Cause I'm, I'm very confused about that. And I yeah. need clarification. Mm-hmm for you is don't think you don't have to move you're sitting at somebody's stomtish look a stomtish is a reserved spot for a group of people and a lot of times at the beer gardens or the beer halls and stuff like that in different places you'll see a little sign maybe on the table or next on the wall by the table saying this is Heinrich's group's stomtish and what a stomtish is is it just means that look if that group comes they get this table they may have paid for the table or rented the table or whatever that's their thing and i know when you're a tourist you're like wait i'm already sitting here no 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 doesn't work that way here in germany those stomtisches that's reserved for them if they show up if they don't show up it's no big deal but i just want you to have a heads up for that anyway these are just some little mistakes i've seen tourists make coming to germany over the years and i want to help you not make those mistakes so i hope it does help you out if you see other mistakes that tourists all right, we can end it here. That's kind of cool. These are, uh, again, uh, great for yeah. American tourists that are coming to Germany or any other uh, country coming to Germany. That really helps a lot. A lot. Walter, thank you for yeah, uh, putting those two videos together. Way to break it down, man. I, I'm, I'm digging it. I love his yeah. videos, man. And always informative. I'll be sure to t be sure a certain table isn't taken by a family. And if it is and down. you're sitting there, it wasn't your table to begin with. Just politely that's, just get up yeah. and don't have a don't yeah. make a scene that's not your hill to die on just like oh, that's theirs period it's not important but anyway thanks for watching what did walter miss what did he exaggerate what yes. did he not talk more about anything else you want to add put it down below please it, and it'll, it'll help us out tremendously when we get there 100 percent Consider also subscribing and watching another video. Definitely. What else, Dan? Unplug and do something legendary, guys. I'll be here to say, y'all. Later, guys.